filmmakers behind Creature from the Black Lagoon were masters of 50s sci-fi. Director Jack Arnold had already helmed It Came From Outer Space in 1953 and would go on to The Incredible Shrinking Man in 57, both for Universal. Meanwhile, his regular producer, William Allen, a one-time actor who appeared in Citizen Kane, had space classic This Island Earth and two Black Lagoon sequels ahead of him. It's really no wonder then that so many modern movie makers, fans of old horror flicks, have wanted to revisit this story of a prehistoric fishman swimming the remote waters of Brazil. John Landis, John Carpenter and Ivan Reitman have all at one time been linked to a remake. Plus, the Hunger Games director Gary Ross, whose father Arthur co-wrote the original film. <laughs> But it was Guillermo del Toro who really saw something special in the Black Lagoon legend, taking the basic concept and twisting it into his own romantic fairy tale, The Shape of Water. Because actually this is a romantic story, a love story, a battle between two men and one giant sea monster for the heart of leading lady Kay Lawrence, played by Julie Adams. Her character might not have a whole lot to do apart from scream and wear very short shorts, but she's the emotional core of the story. In fact, an earlier draft of the script had been a lot more of a Beauty and the Beast type tale, and the first sequel, Revenge of the Creature, was even more of a romance, exactly what Del Toro picked up on 60 years later. There are also strong messages about the morality of scientific investigation and the need for an open mind when it comes to sharing our planet. After all, we weren't here first. Even after The Shape of Water's success, there's still talk of an official remake of The Creature from the Black Lagoon, and there's certainly plenty of room for contemporary ecological themes to blend in with the story. But this original still has so much to offer. The iconic creature design by Millicent Patrick, sadly uncredited when the film first came out. The impressive South American backdrop, albeit filmed in California and Florida. And the groundbreaking underwater action, courtesy of stunt performer Riku Browning. He was the man inside the creature suit for those diving scenes and, currently aged 90, is the last surviving actor to have played an original Universal monster.